many knew what corn, hand corn husking was? How many guys have done it? Except for us, Greg and Terry. Most of you have not. Some of you I know even heard of it. Um, this, as we start the fall, fall um, program here, uh, harvest program, this is probably where you need to start. Uh, this is be before the early or mid 20s. Um, from the 20s all the way up until probably early 40s, there was a lot of corn husk in the Midwest by hand. Uh, when you start getting into late 30s, early 40s with the first pickers uh, is when guys start getting more mechanized and going over. But up until I'm going to say 30, 38 to 40 prior to World War II, there were still a lot of acres harvested by hand. Uh, very few farmers, there was mechanical pickers out there just like the automobile. Some of the guys were too stubborn to transfer over and some guys simply didn't have the finances.
goal is to get as clean an ear as you can. You contact the ore if you're going into crib. You can just open it up, and snap it out, and you, and you throw with your throw with your hooked ear. How it's done. Now if the ears were up, there's a little difference. You come in and grab it, grab it butt or the tip here and you bring your hook down and you break out. For me, my technique, I like to keep them, I can pull them up and snap them out. So it's kind of just a repetitive motion and the least amount of motion that you make, uh, the faster you are. In the competitive contest, you need to be shucking about 40 years a minute to be competitive in the nationals. So that's just, that's just not quite And then my father and our family started the first national or state contest back up in 1979 uh, at our home farm back between Millville and Hagerstown. And then we held the first national since 1941 in Indiana. So my family is one that kind of got started back up post-war here in Indiana. Uh, our state contest right now resides in Bremen, Indiana. Uh, then our, our um, neighboring state, Ohio, uh, they're having, they, they have their uh, continuing contest over this in Greenville. So if this is something, normally the Indiana contest is held the first weekend in October, Ohio the second weekend in the Nationals, third weekend in October. And the Nationals travel from state to state. If you're interested in, in hen husking uh, for fun or just want to go see it sometime, uh, Google cornhusking.com. That's our main website for the National Corn Husky, and it has each state, location, times. It's got all of our rules. It's got our past contests. So if, if you're interested in this, just Google cornhusking.com, and it'll take you to our site for that. So I'm going to start off here. I am. tractor uh, to be pulled by tractors. Uh, this box here is particularly made in the early teens. I don't have the exact date on it, but it is made by Birdsell up in South Bend, Indiana. There was also a carriage shop. 
Uh, there's about five major box bed wagon makers um, that started making carriages and then went to wagons, then later into automobiles. Um, so it's kind of a progression with the manufacturing. Uh, actual husking itself, uh, there's a ma two major contraptions used. Uh, you got a peg and a hook. Uh, the pegs are a straight either piece of metal or a piece of wood that was carved out by the, the, the corn producer himself or the husker himself to fit his hands and, and to fit this the way he husks. And then it also is the hook. This here is called a thumb hook. It is worn around the meat of the thumb. And then the other type of hook is a palm hook and those hooks actually lay right down here. Uh, most most uh, hook styles are single hooked. Uh, you get in the palm hook, they have double hooks. And there's, there's several, the main manufacturer right now is called uh, Boss. Boss Manufacturing still makes hooks and pegs. You can still get them through NASCO or Google them and, and you can still find them out there. Uh, I prefer a thumb hook. Uh, it's just something I grew up with. Um, I've had this one for probably, I've been husky myself. I'm 45. I've been husky since I was eight years old. So for fun and had to do it at home. So to open fields up because we had a mounted picker and uh, a little story on, on how dad used to farm. We didn't, when he planted, he didn't just go around the field. He'd pull up to the field, go up to the fence, pick the planter up, back up, turn around. Everything was square. And even if you had a mounted picker, you still had to get out and shuck back the corners so you didn't make the round with the picker. So there was still probably 10 or 15 acres every year we still had to pick by hand. Ha, ha, ha.